Scorpios, what's good? I don't know if you can tell I'm in a good mood. <laughs> what's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. All right, let's see what the message is, the strongest message for today for my Scorpios, all right? I might do a little marathon, you know what I'm saying? I might be running all night just to see what the fuck the check gonna look like, you know? I'm in a mood, I'm in a mood. I'm actually cooking salmon, salmon tonight. Salmon with this honey lemon pepper thing that I got from these. I love these wings, but I'm trying to just kick, kick the meat. I'm trying to kick the meat. I know salmon is a blah, 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 but shit. I'm trying to low less, you know, low less. All right, let's get it. Start your day with intentions. This week, spend two minutes each morning sending an intention for your day. Do this before you grab your phone, your cup of coffee, you run out the dough, and consider how much it'll change your day. All right, so you need to jot down a few things on a piece of paper and keep it in your pocket, in your bag, in your desk, wherever the fuck you have for your intentions, okay? So you need to set some intentions for your day. Like today, I'm gonna make sure that I'm happy every day. Y'all intentions can be short, especially if y'all have a lot of interactions with other people. Damn, is the phone dirty shit? Let me clean off the damn. I got my cloth over here. Oh, hell. All right. Okay, so you need to start your day with some kind of intention. So I'm going to do good today. I'm going to be positive today. I'm going to, you know, I don't know what the hell y'all got going on, but just set yourself some intentions. I'm going to get this done today. This is not going to, you know, I'm going to make sure I do the laundry today. I don't know what y'all got going on. Okay. Well, we're going to tarot today. Oh, no. Hold on. Okay. So, damn. All right. I guess we're taking all of it. All right, so Scorpio, somebody wants balance with you, all right? This also is telling you y'all need to start doing some um, yoga. Yoga is really, really important right now as we're moving into this this situation, okay, with this um, April 8th, okay? It's not, I don't, I don't want to say it's like a global reset on that day or nothing like that. I just want you guys to know that we're gradually moving into a new higher vibrational frequency so you need to stretch your body do some yoga look up what it is and and try to do these little poses okay uh your perspective about a lot of things are going to get flipped inside out and all around and twisted two ways till sunday so just be ready for your perception of a lot of things that you see things it's going to be changed all right but it's okay all right some of you guys could be struggling with making sure you look good taking that extra makeup care or, you know, getting your nails done, looking fine, whatever, edge up. Don't play with that, okay? Even though your perceptions are changing, you might be learning a lot of information. Don't let your self-care go. Take care of yourself, okay? Your presentation is important, and that's what brings success to you, okay? So it's really important for you to look good, smell good, and feel good at all times. Now, something that you're investing in, some kind of financial thing, or it could be a skill, it's going to give you lots of money. It's going to generate you like a $50,000 upgrade in your finances. I know you're like, damn, bitch, that's a high number. But if you don't put no action, if you don't invest in anything, if you're not doing anything or perfecting a skill, bitch, this ain't your reading. But if you are doing something, you know, and you're getting obsessed with it, it will provide you with services that you need to basically build a stable income. All right. Now, some of you guys like that it's sunny outside, but you ain't going out there. You need to take your ass out there with nature here in reverse, okay? It's time to enjoy the nature around you. It's in reverse, okay? So, it looks like y'all did take your ass outside. So, that's really good. And as you continue to go outside, Scorpios, your perceptions will change every fucking time. Also, the colors might be brighter. The leaves might be brighter. Every, the grass might be green. You're like, what the hell is going on, Okay. You got a lot of blessings coming. Most of y'all know these blessings are coming, even though it says unexpected fortune is about to come. This is a great time to enjoy the blessings pouring upon you. The finances are doing well at the moment, okay? So some of you guys are coming out of some really rough times where your finances just was barely making that motherfucker. You like, God damn, okay? Uh, but that's about to be over with, all right, with this, okay? So these blessings are coming in unexpected for you. At a time where you know you was just barely making it work out but now a new energy is coming in and that money is going to be flowing in it is new year's april 1st is the new year okay it is not what we thought it was a lot of y'all like uh-uh actually april fools is um april 1st no 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 the fool is you okay april 1st is actually the new year all right i do got my new year's outfit i will be counting it down you know all right, so we're going to go to tarot. I normally don't do tarot, but we're doing tarot now, okay? 
I think this is 72 or 74 different case scenarios that, that all people go through in life. That's why it seems so accurate, okay? All right, so Scorpio, you the dreamer, okay? And somebody's following their dreams, okay? So this is a new start, and you need to trust yourself, okay? Be optimistic. Go out there. Be bold, okay? Push aside your fears and take a leap of faith. Fuck what these people got to say, okay? Walk through that door boldly. Now, Scorpio, you do have somebody out here. This is the King of Swords. They're really grumpy. Whoever the fuck this is, they said you out here taking a leap of faith and being optimistic about the future. Some of y'all think about getting a dog or a pet or some shit like that. Some of y'all could be in a garden or something like that. But somebody is just mad, okay? This is somebody who doesn't communicate clearly, okay? Tells you half-assed answers, half-assed texts, maybe even half-assed calls and half-assed efforts. This person is always emotion unemotionally in a relationship. So you don't really know where you stand with this person. This person is hella hot and cold, but they miss you, okay? And um, they, miss you. they miss you. That's all that this is saying. This person miss you. But they don't communicate clearly, and they're really grumpy and sad. Whoever they are, they're focusing on the negative aspects of y'all relationship, all right? Uh, and things are turning out the way they want it to because that's what they do. They focus on all the cups that are broken rather than focusing on the cups that are left open, okay? Uh, they're not looking for the hidden blessing, all right? Now, Scorpio, you was the person in this life that would do that to them. Like, when they would talk about how something was negative, you would flip it like a whole cake and they would see a different perspective. Yeah, that's what would happen. This first card is like this, all right? So this person knew you were brilliant and talented and independent, okay? And you controlled your life, okay? You could have a cat or some kind of fucking pet here as well, okay? It could just be a pet that you have, all right? Um, and there's just nothing that you can do, but you believe in yourself and you never underestimate your abilities and your dreams to come true. Uh, but you need balance between your career and your social life. Okay. So with this person, okay, you have somebody who came into your life. This could be a woman of sorts. This person could be very detached. This person be, could be very unemotional. This person could have felt like you was very attached and very unemotional. Okay. But let's read it for the feminines and then masculines. Okay. So for the feminines, you met this man. He was very detached and cold. You were very optimistic. You always pointed out about the happier things in life. And because you kept pointing out all the positive things in life, you were, uh, this person was kind of like stealing your energy, stealing your brilliance, stealing your talent, stealing your independence, stealing being controlling. This person also wanted to control you, but this person misses you. You know, they misses how brilliant you are, how independent you are, how controlling you are. They also miss how you're always optimistic and positive, and now this person is very much so sad, all right? If this is a, a feminine energy, same way, okay? Um, she misses you. This feminine energy misses how you would make things right, okay, and, and do whatever you do in a very quirky way or some kind of way. And this person feels like you're really smart, but maybe they were intimidated by your smart. Like, sometimes I'll be around some... Like, one of my exes was really smart. Well, this wasn't a bad thing. I actually like people who are super intelligent. But when it came to finances, I'm like, you need to stop trying to ask me about my money. But he was a finance person. He just what he's that's his, that's his expertise. But I felt like that was just you doing me too much goddamn nosy up in my motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes that can make a woman feel insecure because you could have all your finances in a row. Your credit could be better than a little shawty, you know, and that makes her feel, you know, intimidated or threatened by you in some kind of way. All right. So, yeah, so that's interesting. So, let's see what's going on with this person who's who's thinking about you that's cold, um, who misses you, all right? Whoever this is, they miss you, Scorpio, all right? I don't know why, but we're going to see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so this person misses you, misses how positive you were. How brilliant and intelligent you were. You always knew what to say. All right. This King of Swords who's very unemotional. They want to say, I need to tell you the truth. So this person is thinking about telling you the truth about something. But they're thinking about it. Well, I think it was like this. They're, they're on the verge of calling you and telling you something and exposing something to you. All right. I'm ready for commitment. This person is not ready to commit to you. Okay. Okay, they're not ready to be in no relationship, but they give you something that look like some shit. It says, I've been working on myself. This person has been working on themselves, but they're not ready to give you a commitment. They're ready to give you something, though. Okay, I don't know what the fuck it is. It says, I've been working on myself and not the 
same as I was before. I'm ready for a commitment. Yeah, it's down here. That's why I'm make sure. Okay. So this person has been working on themselves. They have been putting their self first. They've been seeing things from another perspective. Um, they do want to tell you the truth about something. They're not really ready for no commitment though right now. Okay. And it says, I want to treat you the way you deserve. But this person do want to show you a different side to them. Okay. Um, but this person lacks emotion. So I think if you already went in a cycle with this person and they've already, you know, shown you that they unemotional. I mean, how much unemotional, uh, you know, roller coasters are you going to go around with this person, Scorpio? Okay. But I don't know. Maybe this is somebody new. Okay. All right, so whoever this is, they feel like you deserve better, and they want to give it to you. They want to treat you better. They want to do this. This King of Swords or this Queen of Swords, okay? Uh, this person is really, this they in their head, if they should try again or leave, you could be in your head about should you stay or should you go, all right? So both of y'all are doing that, but y'all feel like it was destiny for y'all to come together, all right? That fell on top of the dreamer. This person just feel like y'all both got dreams. And if y'all follow y'all dreams, you know, this thing could really work out. Somebody's trying to say that y'all are destined to be together. This could happen in the summertime. Ooh, wee. Scorpio. Faith and destiny is here. So let me tell you something, Scorpio. This person could leave you. When they're in this king of swords energy and move towards this girl that has a bob or her hair is short. Now, the reason why I said this is says because this girl is happy. Y'all are having, they having fun times or fun times is going down. So this is somebody who used to have a lot of fun with this person. Okay. But things have changed. This person has a bob. This person got a cute little booty too. Somebody got a height change. So somebody could be short and petite and really cute. Okay. On top of the dreamer. Okay. So should I stay? So somebody has been debating on if they should stay with somebody or leave or whatever this is. It was destiny for them to be with each other or hang out with each other. This could have happened last summer. They had a lot of fun times, but this person is debating on if they should stay. Something has changed with a fire sign to a water sign. And this has something to do with music, too. So somebody be listening to music, playing music, playing subliminal music. I don't know what the fuck this is, but they got something to do with music, okay? Ooh-wee! Somebody is really grateful how there's no arguments with you. Somebody be getting a real one, okay? This female could be cussing you out two ways till Sunday, but there's also somebody here that doesn't cuss anybody out. They just excuse themselves, and that's all the argument it is. You you be so confused that an argument happened because you're not saying anything. There's a lot of rumors though. Okay, so there's a lot of rumors that things are going on, or this is this is this, and who is who is who. So Scorpio, you got a lot of people in your business. Okay, trying to put two and two together, and you over here just following your goddamn dreams and setting intentions. Spirit is telling, don't don't get caught up in this bullshit. Set intentions for your day and follow through with these intentions. Okay. You also got somebody who is lacking emotions like a motherfucker, but they got heavy emotions for you. They love you. Somebody also need to take their ass outside and get some goddamn vitamin C directly from the sun. Keep following your dreams and set intentions. I feel like you're going to hit your mark. And some of y'all need to start doing yoga. I love you guys. See y'all next time. Bye. Talking to the